like what less than 24 hours or like less than 15 hours. minutes i mean yeah she was already recording it like 10 minutes after the song came out is that what you is that what you like to hear see from your rappers gavin you, it's like what you want to see from your male rappers how as soon as somebody drop a diss track about you 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 were already on it already posting snippets of it yeah i mean yeah because if you're a real artist like rapping isn't hard man. Mm-hmm. like i mean if you're good at it it's hard for people that suck at it but they can't catch a beat <laughs> but, even if they ran through even if they won through grammys yeah yeah but basically you know that's it like you know if you can rap then uh-huh. doing a diss track back it should be no issue especially if you're not holding back and you're going for the throat you know you know how to attack but what I will say, uh, we did listen to the uh, Bigfoot song, and I feel like the intro and like the first half of the song was like very good. Mm-hmm. But I feel like she did so much like just like talking over the beat, yeah. Like and it's like it no longer becomes a song. It's basically just like a a, a response that you're profiting off of. Because instead of putting just the response on YouTube or going on Instagram Live like most people do, mm-hmm. she put it just like on a beat. She only rapped like the first like minute and a half. The rest of her was just talking on the beat and then doing her like crazy Roman laugh or whatever that <laughs> other character is. I'm not a Nicki Minaj super fan. So what? You're not a Barb? Nah. Um, I'm I'm more fan of the international girls because they don't be fighting like this. <laughs> whatever. See, no, I'm just kidding. This that's is why fun. It's not, that's why it's not fun this, over this there. This is fun. But no, let, I mean, they're good over there. Well, well, but, um, what, oh, I didn't even give my uh, – for Meg the Stallion, I'll go ahead and give her a 10 because I think the video was really good. But you know what? She's going to get a 9.98 for me on the books just because of snitch points. <laughs> oh, God. You can't get a perfect score for your snitch even if it is a perfect score. Uh, but for Nikki's um, Minaj's diss track, I'll give it like a 8 on actually being a good song. But I'll give it on a, a 10 as far as the level of uh, talking crap goes. Mm. You know, talking that ish. Okay, I'm, and I'm going to give you what I feel about the song after after this. And also, what we're going to do right now is, you know, give you a little sum up of how this beef started, where it all some, where it all came from, and then we're going to give out y'all the two cents and fill y'all, fill y'all in with the rest. Bad bitch, she like six foot. I call her big foot. The bitch fell off, I cut a good foot, good foot. <laughs> Megan's love for a free I never beat. Knew you can hit Megan's raw. You could tell a woman you're so, you know, you're so in love, you know, you're trying to conceive a baby, and she would look at you, and 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 you see, I saw the true evil demonic serpent in her. Talking about she want to slap her, she should have slapped her mama. But yup, it don't matter. Listen, um, baby, you can make as many. Mo- and fake pages as you want to. You the one that lied on your dead mama, on your dead mama, lied on your dead mama, lied on your dead mama, lied on your don't care. Bitch, I dare you, I fucking dare you, bitch, to say one more thing about my fucking family, ho. Or y'all got a motherfucking clip coming and y'all don't even fucking know, bitch. Ooh. I fucking dare you, bitch, and I know you listening right now, you Fragment, fragment, uh, scat, uh, fragment foot, bitch. Fragment foot. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's how they're gonna end it. But I'm gonna feel out like what's going on. So basically, how the beef all started is remember when Megan Thee Stallion first came out, she was the hot girl. She did the song with uh, Nicki Minaj, Hot Girl Summer. It's the first song that came, the first big song that I would think that she came out with with a big, big artist. She did that song. Uh, she promised a swap. So she promised Nicki Minaj a swap. Like, I do this song for you because, you know, Nicki Minaj is the biggest artist, big artist. Yeah. So, if, and you don't have the money for it, we're going to do a swap. You, I do the Hot Girl Summer for you. You do this song for me. So she did the song, made that, and then after she did the song, Megan Thee Stallion started acting funny. Then on top of that, people were saying that uh, when Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj were chilling, Nicki Minaj told her that, oh, yeah, you know, I'm maybe pregnant. I'm, me and my husband trying to have a baby. And then they were drinking. And they was finna, and Megan Thee Stallion was, make, Megan Thee Stallion was saying, like, oh, forget that. You can go to the clinic and get that handled with. And and, uh, make, and Nicki Minaj took that as disrespect. Because, like, how are you going to tell somebody that's trying to get a baby? 
to, to get rid of it. To get rid of it. Just to have just, but to, she, just to drink did with she you. know that or did she was that she like told was her. that news? Oh. No, she told like she told Megan Thee Stallion like they she told her, like I'm I'm like I'm and this is what she said in the video in the video also that oh yeah, like I seen the serpent in her. And then on top of how she lied, she lied on her dad, mama. She told she told Gail King and Party that uh oh yeah, I didn't have sex with that man and told Party that I put it on my mama. I ain't have S with that man, but then went to court and then proved that she lied. Yeah, she actually did. So, you know, at first I was like, man, that is messed up. Because at the same time, because dudes do that all the time. How they be like, oh, yeah, on, on a dead, on a, on, on my a mom, homies, on a yeah. dead homies, I ain't do that. On a dead homies, I ain't do that. And then you find out that they lie. You be like, oh, you lied on your mama. So, I mean, if, she, if, if dudes do it, then, I mean, I got to call a spade a spade. So, I mean. Yeah, I mean, that ain't cool. It ain't cool, but I mean, the way it's going is, I mean, so she did that, she reneged on, so as soon as she did the song, she didn't do the swap, she started ignoring her, then after that, she did the song with Cardi B, uh, the, um, comment down below the name of the Cardi B song that they did together, and Nicki Minaj felt that that was just disrespectful, like, how we do a song, you ignore me, but then you do a song with Cardi B, you know she my op, because yeah, Motorsports yeah, yeah. already came out, so she did that, and now she's all cool with Cardi B, and I mean, like that's where the whole all the drama began, and uh, she just feels like Megan Thee Stallion is fake. She just using these celebrities for clout. She's not really a good person, and I mean, it's kind of looking like that. She threw Kelsey under the bus. She threw the baby under the bus. Her, her track record is not the greatest at this point. I mean, I got to say that, but this is just, they've been beefing for a long time. I mean, they say like. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion's been sending beef since the beginning of the album, saying that uh, saying Megan Stallion, uh, Cardi, Nicki Minaj isn't taking uh, crazy pills. Yeah, I've seen like that. Uh, I saw like Instagram posts uh -huh. where different uh, places were talking about it, and that's what they're saying that they've been kind of like going back for like really like the past four years. Yeah, if you count like the first like subliminal that they put in a song. So, what's more important before we move on? What's more important to you? Having Grammys or having a, a number one records because that's what's going on. Megan Thee Stallion always throws out that, oh yeah, I got three Grammys, and surprisingly, Nicki Minaj has been nominated ten times and never won a Grammy. That's crazy. Cardi B has been nominated eight because times, won like, one Grammy, and uh, Nicki and uh, Megan Thee Stallion won three Grammys. That's kind of crazy when they, you think about it. At the end it's of the day, politics. Yeah, I mean that's what it really is, though. I mean, in music, I guess like. I wouldn't really care about like those little awards. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's not like, it's not like it's, it's sports, you know, where it's mm -hmm. like, there's a, there's a definite winner or loser. I guess the way I would probably look at it is like financial. Like True. if I'm out, if I'm out selling, like is my tour doing better than theirs? Am I selling more albums? Like that's all I would really care about is like, if I'm out selling them, but as far as like the different music awards, I mean, I probably wouldn't care. True. I mean, I mean, I, don't, not, I mean, most people when they make music, they're not they're, they're thinking about being popular, being big, and people checking their stuff out. I true. don't think it, like that's like probably like the fiftieth thing on their list for being like a rapper, or singer, or something. It's like, oh, I want to win the MTV Music Awards or the a Grammy or whatever. True. I mean, I only really think the people that are like that is like the sing singers. True. The rapper rappers don't really win the Grammy. That's what I mean. I mean, yeah, people don't really care about that in rap, and like unless you're like a. Um, like a Mariah Carey or a Michael Jackson, Mac, where Mac Miller, remember, not Mac where you're Miller. like you're really like you're really singing. Mac Lamore, remember Mac Lamore won it over Kendrick Lamar, and everybody got mad. Yeah, you don't know good. Oh, I think he won it over a good kid, Mad City. And like, that's yeah, what, I mean that that was that was pretty much racism because <laughs> I don't I'm not a super fan of Kendrick, and so that's how you know how honest I'm being. I, I listen to more <laughs> not smart music, I guess you could say. Like I've always like that new Walker Flocker, like the music that gets you amped. Yeah, I'm I'm more in the, the drill and that uh, type of scene. But uh, that Good Kid, Mad City is like was such a good album that Kendrick literally toured off of that album for like six years, mm. like six seven years. I literally saw him like, like five times over seven years, and he was still playing the same, like fifteen songs. Yeah, and that's why that's why I should have won. A, that's why I should have won I a mean, Grammy. That, that it had that type of staying power. Like like uh, what was the song? Swimming pools. Swimming pools. Drink. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, that. Was, I was like the first song I ever heard of his, and my friend showed it to me, and I checked out some of his earlier stuff, um, but. I honestly didn't like any of his albums after that. So it shows you how much I, I don't, uh, you know, appreciate Kendrick. See, uh, but that album definitely should have won a Grammy. True. And I mean, with and with this situation, this is giving me the whole Pusha T 
in the in the Drake thing because you know when the when Drake dropped his diss track and then Pusha T like went so far below, they was like Drake had to quit and bow out because he was like, I don't know how far, I don't know how low this person's gonna go. But and then like he don't have anything to lose. Well, I but, mean, yeah, Pusha T was never on his level. There's certain people like if a big dog's coming at you, you got a response. You don't look like a punk. But you also, if you got like little dogs nipping at your heels, you, you just you, they're not even worth your response. Mm, true, true, true. You know, so you got to kind of know what level you're at. And it's, you know, someone at your level or above your level, you, you need to respond. Uh, but if, if they ain't even on your level, you're actually doing yourself a disservice and you're giving them the exact thing that they wanted, which was attention. Mm -hmm. um, if you respond to someone that's well beneath you. Um, so, you know, I think that's why Nicki Minaj responded is because Meg Thee Stallion, with her winning Grammys and having, you know, hit songs, that that's someone that is exactly on her level and, playing, mean, and playing field, um, you true. know, so she should do that. I mean, she hasn't, uh, she hasn't sold as many records, she hasn't sold as yeah, of course, nearly as close you know, to records. Uh, and who knows if she'll have the staying power as Nicki Minaj. You know, that's Nicki Minaj yet. had Barbie dolls and everybody was calling that's, them a bar, but yeah, that's yet to be seen. But I think it was just as far as a current artist, yeah. she's on her level, not as a career, but as a current artist, she's can, on her level. I can see that, but I mean, at the same time, I feel I still feel like the reason why she won those Grammys because she got shot in the foot. It was like there's a lot of sympathy it's, going on. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I never saw her foot like messed up. That's just called a fragment foot, bitch. I understand that she called her that, and that's funny. <laughs> but uh, and I'm glad that, that we're like 20 minutes into the show. I, I, mean, I, I would have had a judo chop you. Wait, but, um, what? I mean, I didn't, I never, never, was she ever on like crutches? You get shot in the foot. She, remember, man. she was twerking t three days later, she was dropping twerk videos. She ain't, she ain't get shot. But either that, she got Hulk feet. I mean, ex Bigfoot. <laughs> And then know. they showed, uh, oh, but then on top of that, I mean, with the Nicki Minaj, okay, I'm gonna give it my rating. With the Nicki Minaj thing, I'm gonna give it like an eight because everything she said in the song, she tweeted all that stuff already. But then at the end of the song, you remember the how disrespect she, though? Do you think the disrespect's a ten? But like, because I agreed with you yeah, throughout the, the rating, the whole thing like the 10. song was an eight, but the disrespect's a the 10. the disrespect's is ten. And on top of that, the catchy punchline, I call it Bigfoot. Get up, on your, get up on your good foot exactly. yeah. and uh she already beat her record already so beat it. i mean she's not she's number two this quick so that means she's probably gonna pass that pretty quick because True. she already passed her as far as like the fastest to get whatever i don't know or you know whatever whatever those records are and she then already on, beat her on that front then on top of that Nikki do, did. do you believe that because Nikki Minaj said she has more diss tracks in the tuck it's gonna get deeper because she I said i believe it because a lot of people saying that this is like when drake did the first diss to meek mill uh -huh. and then before he uh i forget what that one song was but it was like kind of mild yeah but then he released back to back mm -hmm. where he really went off on him Oh yeah, so yeah, the, that's the, what that's what I meant. Not not so, okay, so not so like pushing, this. This is not her back like, to back. Like this. this is this is her like warning shot. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Like, it's not like the push T one because when I said the push T, I meant like it's gonna get like every time push T drop another track about Drake, it'll get worse and worse and worse, and because you it'll it'll went to hell. But with the, yeah, what you just said is spot on. Like the first track was a warm up track, like charge up. You remember you, it was the charge up song, and then the next time the next song was back to back. Yeah. It's gonna be a smash, and it, it already feel bad. Like nothing is going. The Megan Law, when she said the Megan's Law thing. I mean, and I, I'm gonna be honest. I've never been a Nicki super fan. Uh, I I remember first seeing her when she was just hanging around Brick Squad as like a Brick Squad groupie uh -huh. with Gucci and Waka Flocka. But I mean, she's had the staying power. I mean, and she, I actually feel like she's better, more of like kind of like a pop artist with some of her songs. But is it an um, L? This is gonna be a, like this is gonna be a, like anytime anybody wants to diss Nicki Minaj, all you got to do is diss her baby daddy because of the situation he had. I mean, yeah, because I mean that's that's pretty hard to get beyond. And and like, and, uh, and her and, uh, and her brother. Well, yeah, her brother did committed crimes, and then her her uh, her Fa husband, yep. yeah, the father of her child. Uh, it's not even alleged, you know, because documented that he did something. What? So we can't talk about the documented horniness of Megan Thee Stallion. But we can't. We can talk about. I'm a little. I'm a little. So you a stallion? You a hot girl? You a no, hottie? No. You a hottie toddy? You one of them a hot? I mean, I'll give her a free Mexican beat. Mexican girls. I said I'll give Meg the stallion a free beat. <laughs> For a free beat, you can get a. Free beat. You can hit Megan. 
<laughs> oh, that's disrespectful. But I hey, mean, I make beats, man. Some of my, I still got some beats from back in the day. But that, that Megan. Okay, before we move on, that before I don't we really move make on, beats now, that, was all that Megan's Law thing was funny as hell. But then when Nicki Minaj came back and said, "Oh yeah, you didn't care about that Megan's Law when you wanted that song from me," it just was like the nail in the coffin. Like you only using higher stars for. I mean, that's pretty much how it goes. If you if you're cool with someone, you accept them and all their flaws, and then as soon as you're not cool with them, you're gonna diss all their flaws. Once you're using what you want, once you get what you want from them, I mean, hey, but it is what it is. Comment down below who you going for, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, Nicki Minaj. Is is Nicki Minaj dating you, Cardi B I'll into you, this? I'll tell you who I'm going for. Who? I Spice. Facts. Hey, but do do you think you think Cardi B needs to jump in this too? I wish she would. You think Cardi B needs to come out and help Megan Thee Stallion? I, I think she's having uh, enough problems with Offset. They said they, somebody said that Meg, Nicki Minaj is waiting for Cardi B to come out so she can just ping pong both of them at the same time. Because I really think that both, even if Megan Thee Stallion team up with Cardi B, they still couldn't beat Nicki Minaj in rapping. I mean, I mean, they couldn't beat him, but I mean, on the budget and the video wise, uh, the budget I, video yeah, would be that's amazing. What that's what I'm saying. They could do it because you saw how good Meg's video was. Yeah, that was a rip. Yeah, like that was a high. That's a high quality video, high production. But when it comes to bars and everything, do you and think if she combined her budget with Cardi B, that's a real budget video. This is gonna be that's like a video that they'd spend like five million on. You can be an amazing looking video, but with the song, well, you think the rap, the bars be with the bar. With that's the, the, that's the thing is is like when it comes to disrespect, it's like yeah, like you can be super bar heavy. But you ain't even gotta be like super bar heavy. You could just be like just just straight say shit straight up. Talk about um like it's like in Chica- when when you talk about like people that diss like uh-huh. like Chicago dudes and when they diss they're not super lyrical. They just say like I catch all black and I'm gonna do them dirty. Like <laughs> true. But I mean, girls like is a, way more <laughs> great. Girls is way more worse than that. I seen somebody yeah. comment down on below saying, "Oh yeah, maybe looking for anything." Yeah, Nicki Minaj. I see one girl was like, "Oh yeah," when somebody comments on my page and say some rude, I just go to their page and like if I see that they say, "Oh, R.I.P. to my brother and everything," I, the first thing I comment is, "That's where your brother's dead." So we're smoking <laughs> on your brother today. You're like, damn. Or I seen that somebody else said, "Oh yeah, hey, a lot of girls have no filter, and when they when they get hurt, they hurt back ten times harder." And I seen this one person said Nicki Minaj should come out with a song called Speed Bump and, and uh, be like this track to Nicki Minaj because her dad. That's crazy. <laughs> this is ain't ain't nobody just like this uh, since uh, Tupac. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a Nicki uh, uh, Little Kim, Foxy it's a Brown. First it's off, a, if you're it's a, it's a in lot the of, click, you claim. Hey, I mean, they saying Nicki Minaj is the next, fi- the female Fifty Cent. I see, but it's it's so funny because people are always like, we want the peace, but it's like yeah, I don't peace, want the peace is boring. Yeah, I, don't want I want the, the dissing. Who want bad? I want the violence. Who want Zeus Network? They want to see Krishan I mean, Rock. That's why Car- I mean not Car- Cardi B, but that's why Krishan Rock in the news every day. All her videos get hella views. So we can't even because, do it because she violent and crazy. Yeah, exactly. If she was a tame something. She would be like a. How you feel? Wait, wait. Before we move on to the next topic, how you feel about? Uh, I need to comment down below too. How y'all feel about Krishan Rock new tattoo? Uh, I mean, I feel like she. Are you surprised? Go- I, I'm not surprised. I'm honestly not surprised. <laughs> but I'm just to say that she a goofy because it's like, how are you gonna get a whole neck tatted cover up and be like, f this man for life, and then get your face tatted of him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, come on, like, make a choice. You already did this once, now you got to do it twice. <laughs> oh, man, horrible, horrible. Y'all comment below. Let us know how you feel about this whole uh, Nicki Minaj making a style situation. Also, let us know how you feel about Chris Sean rocking the face tattoo. Ooh. I know she, I, hey, man, fellas, stay in your child's life, man. Please, please stay in your child's life. But moving on. Man, I would, I would never want to get, like, a... A face tat like the Mike Tyson tat from the uh, Hangover movies. Ooh, Whenever yeah, remember right. the one guy got it. Yeah, when he was knocked out and he got a tat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's like man, it's like I mean, I guess if you're a rapper, it really doesn't matter. But it, it's like I don't know. Mm. I just don't see the point in it. We gonna see. You could wear a bandana and have a different mask every day. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna. You got anything else in this? Nah, man. But speaking. Oh, we gotta keep the the rap or the. Okay.